Tony. Your chef, Scotty, had me try the coconut sugar over there. Oh my gosh, I, I think it was not went to heaven. It was fabulous. That was my Good job, job to let her taste that. Why hey, are you taking my thunder? I, I was eating it. You settle down. <laughs> I already had a spoonful. Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tina Marie, and today we're joined by Chef Tony Clark, our very good friend. Nice Thank to you, have man. you back again, Thank dear you. Tony. And of course, our chef, Scotty. Nice to have you back Thank again you. too, sir. And it's all about flavor today. Yes. The Hatfield quality meats. The marinated and meats. A variety of flavors with their marinated pork tenderloins. Actually, this is the uh, peppercorn, mm -hmm. which is gonna be great. And I'm gonna do a nice vegetable stew with a secret ingredient that I love, that I grew up with. And, and it's not the coconut somewhere. sugar? No. And okay. so, and then I'm doing a nice Asian dish. Ooh. with the honey mustard, so it's gonna be really cool. Very good, so. I love the variety of flavors and you're gonna show us some interesting things to do with them too. So and where do Scotty's we begin? Scotty's doing, doing pork, pork and pork. Oh. <laughs> pork. Three little piggies. Pork, okay. pork and pork. This pork is a smoked pig. apple wood, this is bacon, this is a barbecued pork, mm, and this yum. is the uh, Hatfield uh, uh, sausage meat. Oh, good. And you took it out of the casing. And he's making a cabbage pie. No, that's how it comes. You know, oh. it's like, sometimes I, I love it like that because I like to grind it up with like broccoli rob and little orichetti. Uh, and he's uh, doing uh, it. Look at that. You already got you going. And it's already got there. Our so this is the caveman show. The caveman show. That's what it was. Okay, cowboy caveman. No. Yeah, this is caveman. Okay, this is it. All right, listen. So first of all, I just got to soak this up. This is going to be for our Asian dish. But you're not a cowboy today. You know, once a cowboy, always a cowboy. <laughs> well, yes, that I'll oh, tell you, you that. Huh? <laughs> so funny. Come here, girl. Saturdays. Hello. And now he's making a very interesting dish. It's a cabbage pie. Yeah. Right, you said? Yeah, it's going to be uh, with, it's going to have a cabbage pie. It's going to be. Oh, uh, cabbage pie. pie. Okay. And he's going to have a uh, sausage and, and barbecued pork, capital barbecue pork. I like pork. how you say that, sausage. 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 All right, now what do we have here, sir? This is a uh, rice vermicelli, Asian rice vermicelli. Mm -hmm. and we're just going to let that soak. Let's soak just in regular water. Yes. Right? It will, it will slowly go down. Okay. And this is a really, really cold dish. Where do you get this, Tony? Uh, Asian work, but uh, more and more that you find it in the, uh, uh, thank you, though. The more and more you find it in the uh, ethnic aisle. In We're the lucky. Oh, so many of our supermarkets now have ethnic aisles that okay. we can get a lot of it, these ingredients. So very good. We're cooking three dishes today. Yes. Very good. Three. Right. And three, three is wonderful dishes today. Excellent. So okay, now you ready for the secret ingredient that's yeah. in every Philadelphia bloodline? Please. Every Philadelphia bloodline. I hope. What is it? Dun, da, da, da. Oh, I know. Uh, scrapple. Yum. Scrapple. Uh, Philadelphia favorite. This is my favorite thing to eat on Sunday morning. So I'm interested to see what you're going to do with it. I'm, I'm thinking scrapple, I'm thinking fry it up with some eggs, some you know, potatoes. some potatoes, a nice buttered ketchup toast. On yours? Ketchup, always ketchup. Always ketchup. Oh, I can see it actually. When I was a child, I can see That's it. That's right. What are you going to be doing with it today? Well, we're going to do it with the pork and uh, we're gonna, with a vegetable stew. This is my favorite things, to, one of my favorite foods in the world. Well, it has a, so much flavor. And that cannot it's be all denied. Good. See that? No oil, no butter. Cube it and fry it. Does it really, it really doesn't need any oil or butter? No. But this Very one, good. this one, uh, we're just going to get a little color on this first. Okay. Mm. I think we have and already the aroma. Oh my gosh, I love scrapple. It's it's so nostalgic. And then we're going to put some vegetables in here. This is endive, some potatoes. Some Belgian endive. Okay. okay. So this is the beginnings of our stew. Right. Okay. We're going to get this started. And over here, I smell sage, the wonderful essence of sage. Chef Scotty, what are you preparing over we're here? We're getting the, uh, the cabbage ready. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I just did, did was just do a quick shift out on the cabbage. Mm -hmm. And you can, use, you can use whatever cabbage that you like the best. I like to use like a savoy or an apple. Okay. Okay. And all I'm going to do is just line a pan with bacon. The first part of the three, three little pigs. This is the first part of our cabbage this pie. Is the first pig. The first pig. The first right, of the, the three, three little, little pigs. pigs. The and first one is the applewood smoked bacon. Yep. And what you do is just line the pan all the way around. And it's a nice thick slice on it. it. Has great flavor to it, the applewood smoke. You're actually almost making a crust with the bacon. Uh -huh. So you're going to probably wrap this over at the very end, I guess, the right? The top is going to come up, and this is going to come over the top. Wow. Cooked something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of The Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. Now return to the chef's kitchen. So I love the packaging. Very easy to open. Uh -huh. 
and already flavored. That's awesome. Which is, and now with this, you could actually just put this on your grill pan right in your away, kitchen. Just like that. Just like this, it's, it's honey mustard it's perfectly, flavor. It's, it will be moist and juicy all the way through. Mm -hmm. It's perfect right like that. This is for the Asian style, and we're okay. just going to slice it like thin strips. Really taking out all the steps. You don't have to make a marinade. Absolutely not. It's perfect. And in the meantime, we've, you've done some activity over here. A little bit of work. Just uh, add the neck, the uh, country sausage mm -hmm. on top of my cabbage. Okay, Notice. so we have a layer of cabbage, mm -hmm. layer a of layer cabbage, of sausage. Layer of sausage, then a little bit of sprinkle of chiffonade of uh, sage. Okay. And then what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to set this aside real quick. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to slice the barbecued pork tenderloin. I used to go in here so well at the restaurant. It's great barbecue flavor. It's it's a simple tenderloin. It's got marinated with the barbecue. A lot of popular appeal. Everyone exactly. likes barbecue. Everyone who doesn't like barbecue? You know? And if, if they don't like barbecue, then, then the honey like honey Dijon mustard is, is or a Or peppercorn. Great, or peppercorn, right. That's why I, I like the diversity of flavors that so Hatfield offers. So just thinly sliced just and thin layered sliced on top. And just lay it, I'll shingle this all the way around. Great. This is a great fall dish. Just great fall sage. dish. Oh, I know. And unique. I've never seen anything like but this, actually. But if you actually. like bacon, it's a good summer dish, too. Winter dish, fall dish. Yes, it's true. Midnight dish, morning dish. Mid <laughs> 2 30 in the morning. Any time of day. Yeah, any kind of day. <laughs> Happy hour dish. All right, we take a little clove and our marinade uh, mustard. Mm, I love the way this is a smelling right cinnamon, here. A little cinnamon, a little nutmeg. So, and uh, we're going to take a little, little Asian um, sweet soy. Sweet soy? Mm -hmm. Lots of great flavors you've added to this. Really nice. But you know, I didn't really have to. So you know. Well, you're giving us a. a some people go a little crazy. A different way to look at it. Mm, I love that sweet suey. It's very nice. Wow. Isn't it? Very, very good. We're gonna put a little olive oil in here now. Okay. This is getting all crazy We're now. Putting our stew together. We're gonna put a little bit of our cauliflower in there, and you see, it's nice and everything's raw. Mm -hmm. So we're roasting our vegetables raw, which I love. I throw the little scallions in there, mushrooms. You love that because you can get some color on it. Caramelization. Them. Okay. Uh, everything has a natural sugar. Sure. So when you're cooking um, vegetables with natural sugar, you're caramelizing, so you're changing the flavor a little mm -hmm. bit. So now I'm going to put a little bit of um, bay leaf in here. Okay. I throw a little bit of um, clove in there. Great. Just, let that, just roast that away. Mm, I love all the aromatic spices mm -hmm. you've Good. added. So here's our, our water over here. So now, look at this. You sort of dehydrated the noodles, and then you're going to add them to the boiling water. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It's going. It's going. And look, it's disappearing. Oh, we actually rehydrated the noodles. Scotty, that's beautiful. Does that look good? I'll eat it right now, raw. No way. <laughs> I'll do it. Go in the oven. Okay. Lovely. Now. We're just going to turn this over. Notice how lean the pork no, is. Look at that. And we'd like to welcome in Carrie. Hello, Carrie. Hi. Nice to see you. Thank from you for Hatfield having Pauline. me. This is great. It smells so good. Yes. Carrie Mel from Hatfield hey, Carrie, how are you? Hi. So, all about marinades mm -hmm. today. We have tenderloins, loin fillets, roast, simply tender portions. We just have a lot of different types of marinades marinated products. And the great thing about them is we already did the work for our customers. So you can prepare meals based on how easy you want it to be or how creative you want it to be. That's true. Like we were saying, you could easily just open up one of these packages and put it on your grill pan and Absolutely. have a beautifully flavored, marinated mm -hmm. meal. Yep, tender and juicy. Oh, I see some flames. Yeah. What did you just do here, Tony, that we missed? I I was feeling lonely. He's, he's, he, wanted he wanted attention. attention. He needed attention. He wanted yes, attention. that's okay. So you know, to get like a typical boy, he sets yep. things on fire. Yep. So now, how did you deglaze this? What did you put I in there? I just put a little red wine and a little tomato paste okay. in here. Okay, now we're going to put some oregano. So you're actually, you're concentrating the flavors then, right, right Tony? Mm -hmm. By doing that? Okay. You like scrapple? Love scrapple. Oh. How can you not love it? Well, there's some people that are just crazy. I can't eat that. <laughs> You actually have a, a really special promotion going right, on for do. our uh, viewers as well. Tell us about that. Yes, I'm glad you mentioned that. If you go to our website, HatfieldQualityMeats.com, 
and you click on the button that says Chef's Kitchen, mm -hmm. and you type in the promotion code HQM, you can actually get a $2 off coupon any of our products. Wow, that's great. Yeah, it's a great savings. So it's HalffieldQualityMeats.com, mm -hmm. and the code is HQM, easy to remember. That's correct. Okay. Yes. Very good. Well, we're going to continue on having some fun in here with Sounds our good. chefs. Sounds and you're good. going to join us at the tasting, yes. right, Carrie? Yep. Great. See you soon. Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay, so, Tony. So we just... Uh, oh, I love this. We're surrounded by wonderful smells and aromas and pork three, five, six, seven different ways. It's amazing. It's all crazy, isn't it? It is. I love it with you. In the look kitchen, at this. Though. Taste, it's look all at crazy. This. Taste that, there. That's the noodle. This is the noodles. Totally different. I'm just mm. going to be full. It's nice, huh? Yeah, it's a nice texture. Yeah, it's totally different. Clear. Looks very clear. Very clear texture. Don't go away. We'll be right back. We're back with more from the Chef's Kitchen. Our little fillets over here, are they essentially done, Tony? Yes. Okay. But our stew is, we're still working on our stew. And what's next for you, Chef Scott? Well, I'm just saying get some of the, uh, of a pork reduction. I'm going to reduce it down a little bit more and finish it with a little bit of butter first sauce for, for the uh, cabbage. And what is in here? It's just a pork reduction. Okay. This is from the braising liquids. When we braised pork earlier in the week that we did at the restaurant for okay. a special. But I did was I just took some of the some of the jus out of the pan after braising it and just from reducing it down. And I'm going to reduce it down a little bit more and finish it, mount it with a little bit of uh, unsalted butter. Okay, so now we start. We got our, some fresh mint. Our Asian noodles here. Oh, mint. Mm, mm, so good. I love that. I know. Oh. And you know, mint people think mint is like a dessert. Well, but, yeah, but the Asians use it a lot mojito. in their salads. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. I like mojitos. And then I have some cilantro. Nice. Which, you know, I just cut it up. I like big chunks of it because right. I like the big you like flavor to taste that it. goes on. You like yeah. to taste it. Yeah. And a little um, Asian ri uh, rice vinegar. Okay. And then we're going to put a little bit of our sweet soy, sweet soy Again, in there. Again, with the mm -hmm. sweet soy, that great. Obsession. Some more sriracha, little mm -hmm. little kick in there. We've used that before. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's a big thing now. And then we take our coconut sugar. Oh, that great! It almost uh, it almost tastes like a nougat almost. It, mm. I guess the consistency feels like a nougat, but look at it. Well, and mm. we just bring it in there like so. And this is just simple syrup, uh, and you add coconut mm -hmm. to it. Raw garlic. Okay. Okay, that's crazy. Yes, it is. All right, you see those limes over there, though. Yes. Can you squeeze some squeeze of them some? in there? Yeah. You got it. See, this is the best part, using your hands. I mean, uh, yes. you know, sometimes you got to use what God gave you, just, you, you know? Use your hands. That's, That's exactly right. Get your hand, don't be afraid to get your well, hands well, why, dirty. Why do people get so crazy? Do you, have you cooked with scrapple at, all at your restaurant, Tony? Cold I made a, a stuffed chicken with scrapple. I love scrapple. I was going to name my first kid scrapple. Scrapple. <laughs> scrapple Clark. I bet that would Didn't go well. It was a really scrappy Especially kid. Especially because it was a girl, my <laughs> daughter Ashley. Sorry, honey, you could have been Scrapple. <laughs> Some carrots. So this is not done yet. We thought, no, honey. We thought this was over. No, this honey. Not over See, that's with me. With me, you think it's over? It's just started. You're already exhausted. <laughs> it's it's a, totally I had enough, and I'm coming and coming. It's just there begun. There it is. Chug, 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 baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when he starts dancing, that's when you worry. That's right? when you have to worry when he dances. This party started. <laughs> and then when he starts singing, then you really have to start worrying about stuff. <laughs> So. You would know Scotty. Yeah, no. It's been a lot of singing all summer. That's good. So. so where is the cucumber going, Chef? Huh? Where is the cucumber going? Right in here, baby, though. Oh, in the salad, Oh, yeah, in there, in there. Do you want me to oh, mix it all? Oh, yeah, go with for it. With my hands? Oh, what? no, use your feet. I don't think you'd like that. Take the shoes off. Use it. Well, right. you know, they stomp on grapes. So, a little listen there. I can really tell you've enjoyed working with Hatfield. Oh, I, you it's love so, it's pork. Easy. You really come alive with pork. How could you not, though? It's so, such a flavorful meat. Oh, I love it. It's so, it's my favorite. You've taught us that slow and low is the key. I was talking about your technique for cooking pork. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I just oh, this is the lemon look pepper. That, look at that. Look at it. Look at the colors. Beautiful. Marinated. Beautiful. Oh. And just really, you have to notice how incredibly lean it is. That's going to be good. Really nice. Scott, are you going to take that pie out of the... Mm. Uh, it's about ready? ready to come out. This smells delicious. I'm, I feel very spoiled. I'm surrounded by such wonderful flavors. Okay, so... How is that? Oh, so you've just added it right in there. Yeah, sauce and all. Nice. 
Okay. Let's see if we can make a plate. So the sauce really, I'm sure, jazzes up those noodles. You know, what's going to happen with the lemon pepper pork? We're going to add these vegetables, roasted of vegetables to that. Oh, with the scrapple. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And Scotty, this is our pie. This is the, the cabbage pie. Okay. This is the, uh, the pork reduction, which I added, that I mounted the butter with. So you flipped it into a larger pan. I flipped it into a large pan, and one reason is that there's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to create a lot of liquid. Ah, So you okay. want to be very careful and drain off some of it, drain some of it off before you flip it, and then flip it into a larger pan. Okay, that's Plus an important point, drain some exactly, of the fat off. Exactly, exactly. But then, uh, also to give you more room when you cut it. Yes, that's true. Because it's a lot easier to cut it in the pan and serve it out of the pan than it is to put it on the cutting board. So, I'm just going to finish off. So you're seasoning off the pork reduction sauce. Pork reduction. Watch yourself. Some flying pork. Some flying flying butter. Stay tuned for more from the Chef's Kitchen. We're back with more of today's recipe. Okay, so we're going to go like this. A little red wine in there again. Very nice. Okay. Oh, I love the smells. Wonderful. Just basically we, uh, add the red wine and to take the fond off the... Uh, Wow, look at that scrapple. Look at that. I think you need to taste this. Oh my goodness. This is a pre-taste. Huh? This is like... A pre-taste yeah, taste. This is uh, for the, just being in the kitchen. The, That's too big for you, honey. That's too big for me I to know. taste taste. I know. That's okay. We, can, we have a knife right there. This looks unbelievable. This is the pre-taste taste. Wow. Mm. Scrapple's good, isn't it? It's like it's with the tomato velvet. and everything like that. It's so Love good. it. I like it crispy, but I like it. I love the flavor. Mm. Love it. Mm. Bringing back memories. Very, very good. And so now you slice into our cabbage pie. I slice into the cabbage pie to get it ready to go on the plate. Looks great. You can see all the layers. Can you see all that? Looks beautiful. You can see all that in the center. Really unique dish. Some good stuff. It is very, very flavorful. Mm-hmm. Plenty of juice. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Look at the layers of pork flavor. There's three kinds of pork in that. Mm -hmm. You got the, the barbecue pork tenderloin, the sausage, and then the applewood smoked bacon. Top, with the, top and bottom of the applewood smoked bacon. Mm -hmm. and pork reduction on top. Oh, I love this. As a nice fall meal, love that. Mmm. Now just put the sliced barbecue pork tenderloin and it's seared off. Beautiful. On the side. You can never have enough pork. Pork lover's delight. Right there on a plate. And interestingly, you've started out with the marinated products, the, the Hatfield marinated products. Again, like we said, you could just serve it as right, is. Right, by itself. You know, simply, you know, pan fried or, or on your grill pan or out on your grill, but you've really opened our minds to a whole world well, of possibilities here, Tony. It, it's endless. Truly. It's endless. It's as one you of the, always do. It's one of the products that you just have to have. Yeah. To have fun, you know, and it makes your job easy. So we are ready to taste, gentlemen. Carrie Mel, come on and join us from Looks Hatfield. Delicious. And the nice thing also just to add is mm -hmm. not only do we have these great savory flavors and this versatile way to cook our tenderloins and our loin fillets, but they're very lean. Yes. Well, we noticed that even when Tony was taking them out of the package, mm -hmm. you could see how incredibly lean they were, mm -hmm. uh, which really makes us feel good. <laughs> yeah. And it should make all of us feel good about what we're serving our family. You know, because we are all health conscious. So You're absolutely right. Cheers to Hatfield Cheers. Quality Meats Thank and the incredible mind of Chef Tony Thank Clark you. and his wonderful chef Scotty. Thanks for your good Thank stuff, Karen. Thank, Thank you for you. your efforts today. Mm. Now, for the fun part, <laughs> let us begin. Come on, Scotty Greer. You're uh, here so skinny. You need to get ahead of yeah, me. Yeah, he needs something in his bones. That's how I yeah. would lose some weight if I, if I get the skinny guys so. in front. He's huh? the you one making that, the, the try, the, the try pork. You know what happens when the skinny guys are in front. Getting, they get back there. You're still getting in front. They get back there. That's right. That's because I only eat. We're all going for this pie. Oh, yeah. I think because it's the most impressive uh, put together dish. and It's, it's the very creative. Creative, unusual. Let me get some bacon in there, too. Truly a pork lover's delight. I mean, did I see how I knocked that off? My God, he did it on purpose. He wanted me to work for it. That's why he did that. Wow. Mm. If you love pork and cabbage, mm -hmm. that's unbelievable. That's the dish. That's unbelievable. That's very right. flavorful. Yeah, of course, you have the barbecue pork, There's too. flavor on top of flavor mm -hmm. in there. 
stew. We're gonna try the pork stew. This is with the scrapple. Right. Mm -hmm. Plus, you also added, was this the, what kind of, was it lemon pepper? The peppercorn. The peppercorn, peppercorn. pork, okay. So there's two Hatfield pork products in this one as well. And this is this one has all those great so caramelized tender. vegetables in it too. What I love about your pork is the best is it's so, so moist, so tender, there's no, it's Juicy. just melting. Oh my goodness, it melts in your mouth. mouth. It really does. It's perfect. Mm. But the way you've added those flavors, Tony, with the tomato and the caramelized vegetables really makes an another mm -hmm. layer of sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. And you know what, Gary, remind us too about that wonderful promotion you have going on for Chef's Kitchen viewers. If you go to our website, which is HatfieldQualityMeats.com, and you click on Chef's Kitchen, and enter the promotion code HQM, you can save $2 off of any of our products. Wonderful, so it's HatfieldQualityMeats.com, promotion code HQM. That's correct. Very easy yes. to remember. And if that's not a reason to toast, I don't know what is. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's toast to a great day here in the Chef's Kitchen with some of our favorite people and Hatfield Quality Meats. Thank you all. Thank you. For over 115 years, Hatfield Quality Meats has been the first choice for families to enjoy delicious pork products for any meal. Enjoy one of our tantalizing breakfast meats or prepare a quick and easy dinner featuring our fully cooked whole hams, marinated pork tenderloins, or our Italian sausages. Hatfield Quality Meats prides itself on its commitment to quality and providing the most wholesome and great tasting products possible. Visit us at HatfieldQualityMeats.com and click on the Chef's Kitchen badge. Type in HQM to get your special coupon offer. Cooked something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of the Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. Craft services provided by Garces Trading Company, a European-style gourmet market where you can enjoy delicious bistro fare in a bright, airy setting. One of the, my favorite things is to have products that come to me that I grew up with all my life. And Hatfield has been in my home since I was born. And now to work with it in this, this venue, for me, it's a treat. And I, I really enjoyed it.